Oh, wow. <laughs> so real quick, para mi familia y amigos en México, lamento no poder estar juntos en este momento. Los extraño y gracias por todo. In this piece, I will be discussing depression and suicidality. Please take care of yourself as you need to. I would like to start off by thanking my classmates, friends, professors, dog, therapist, boyfriend, family, chosen family, and my cohort for supporting me in this journey. <laughs> I've been at Berkeley for seven years now. <laughs> as a result, I'm very acquainted with our school's motto, Fiat Lux. That's Latin for let there be light. In undergrad, I used to think that Fiat Lux referred to how education brightens our minds. And while that can be true, I'd like to share my journey in discovering a new meaning to Fiat Lux. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected us all in profound ways, and it has undoubtedly impacted our lives in ways we thought not possible. However, despite the challenges we have faced, we have also witnessed remarkable resilience, strength, and adaptability in ourselves and in our loved ones. We have faced this adversity head on and we have persevered through difficult circumstances to reach this momentous occasion. As some of us may know, depression rates skyrocketed because of COVID-19. Depression is a mental health condition that can have a profound impact on our lives. It can make it difficult to find joy in the things we once enjoyed. It can sap our energy and motivation and it can make us feel dark and alone. I've struggled with depression for the majority of my life. COVID-19 exacerbated that, and over the course of this past year, I fell into my darkness yet again. To be honest, my life kind of fell apart this past year. Picture this. I'm in the middle of withdrawing from my master's in social work program, and it's dawning on me that I have to stay a third year to finish my public health capstone. A few months, a few months later, my dog, Canela, of 18 years, passed away, my ex-best friend and I had a falling out. I ended a three and a half year long relationship and to top it off, I had to move out of my apartment in San Francisco. It was not a fun time. I felt like a huge failure. I crumbled. I got low. I tried hurting myself and for the first time in a really long time, I even considered taking my own life. I felt myself go on autopilot for a few days and then I was on campus. I'm under the Campanile, our bell tower. When I, when I was at Berkeley for undergrad, I would hang out at the Campanile whenever I was feeling overwhelmed and needed to calm down. So I'm there under the Campanile on a windy night and I was reflecting on a conversation I had with Quinn a few months before. Then I was in the middle of writing my withdrawal letter to the School of Social Work and bawling my eyes out and Quinn spotted me and came over to talk. We chatted for a bit and they told me something I will never forget. They said, go where you are loved. It was what I needed to hear at that moment. Suddenly things clicked. You see, when you're in the darkness, it feels like no part of the world can find you. It's easy to retreat into the dark. It's familiar. It's almost like a home. And at times it can feel like that darkness has no end. Darkness also helps us appreciate any bit of light that the world may give us. That day, Quinn gave me a bit of light. And I remember looking up at the Campanile and one, finally processing what Quinn meant, and two, realizing something new to our school motto. Fiat Lux refers to the light within us. Our education brings out the light within each of us. It kindles it, it catches fire, and our education empowers us to share our light with others. I cannot thank my loved ones enough for helping me find my light again. <laughs> Graduates, this world will be a brighter place because of you, because of your drive, and because of the love for your community. 
So to echo Quinn, go where you're loved. And I'll add on this, because this is a wonderful thing I learned. Go where you are loved, and you will find your light. That's what the world needs from us as public health leaders. There's always someone needing help kindling their light. That's why we're public health students. For me, I want equitable health for adolescents and for children, for mothers and fathers and parents, and for my Latinos and for my queer and transgender siblings, for my unhoused community members and for my family and my friends. Together, we can build bridges towards equitable health and dismantle the stigma against mental health. Together, we can light paths. We can shine bright on our own, and we can shine even brighter together. So, graduates, in times of darkness, go forth and remember, Fiat Lux, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Congratulations, we did it. Thank you.